Mm. All right. I know uh, one thing that's uh, always a, a bright spot for our Thursday morning. That's when we get to talk with Matthew Archbold. We get to find out what's on his mind. And um, I got to say, uh, Creative in Order Report, a great resource. But there's a terrific essay, if you looked at the very bottom there, about uh, living your life with a, a realization of love. And I want to say that was a really well-written yeah, piece. Everybody should read that. I was just reading that. that one. I'm looking at that one myself just now. Good morning, Matthew. What do you mean, just now? <laughs> yeah, I just you I'm, don't wake, I'm sorry. you don't just roll over and turn on Creative Minority Report. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been that, a little busy these the last glitch. few days. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the glitch in your life that you're not doing that. You you Busted. are the human glitch right now. <laughs> well, so there have been a few other things going on in the world, and I found a, a bunch of other uh, interesting articles on CreativeMinorityReport.com. dot com. You know, here's the thing. I don't know if you've ever been at a point, Matthew, where there wasn't enough fodder to kind of put stories together. How in the world do you keep up with it right now with everything that's going on in the world, the church, and uh, in all other aspects of our lives? Well, the apocalypse is always newsworthy, I think. Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and essentially the Creative Minority Report is a, is a front row seat to the apocalypse and mm. it just grab the popcorn and uh and, and kick back and enjoy it because we are in the handbasket and we are traveling at, at the descent speed of of you know who. Mm, <laughs> yeah. And I, I I will say there were some uh amazing things uh going on in this country. You have you know a couple of months ago was it? The FBI wrote a big memo saying we have to really, really, really watch out for Catholics. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. and now we're seeing a lot of, you know, all these riots going on in D.C. And then a, a person, you know, ran over an 80 year old Trump supporter. And I, of course, went to my computer thinking, uh oh, what are the Catholics up to now? Yeah. But it turns <laughs> out it's not Catholics. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's, it's not Catholics at all. It, it, it's other people entirely. And, uh, it, it just shows you that everything is off kilter. You know, they're, they're focusing, they're, they're literally sending agents to masses mm. to monitor to monitor us while people are rioting and protesting and defacing national monuments. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and it's just insane that we're we're not focused on the right things. Well, and we're, I, we're and easy I, to stand up to. Let's face it. You know, we're humble. We turn the other cheek. Yeah, I mean, if you have to pick an enemy, that's the enemy to pick, right? Yeah, right. Get the, the people who want to turn the other cheek. I did get a kick uh, last night out of, uh, you know, Joe Biden talking about uh, how important every vote is, and and I, I just get a kick out of it. You know, we essentially they're tossing out every Democratic primary vote. Mm, right. And mm -hmm. and and they, you know, he comes on and says we have to make sure every vote counts. It's like, wait a second, hold on. <laughs> yeah. I, I just Not... need a sanity break here for a second. We're literally tossing out every vote that was taken yeah. in the Democrat primary. And and the, and the one thing he said that, that disturbed me, because I, I, I don't believe that President Biden has any say in what's going on. Mm. But the fact that he talked about reforming the U.S. Supreme Court, mm -hmm. I, I, I literally oh stood goodness. up off my couch when yeah. I heard that. Just you know what that means. That, yeah, he that wants means to extend it. it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get it going in his direction, that, and they just don't like to not get their way. Yeah, I mean FDR tried this. He tried enlarging the Supreme Court, adding justices to it because he couldn't get his way. And this is all about Roe v. Wade and Dobbs. I mean that's really so much of what it comes down to. They they cannot take the fact that you know abortion is is not allowed everywhere and at all times. You know, they they wanted like a, you know, a 7-Eleven. Uh, but, you know, that that's the next step in the fight. We're going to have to to fight judicial reform is what they're probably going to call it or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you know, and all, all that is, essentially all Roe did, and we have to always push this, is it put the power back in the hands of the people. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, it, it said the court can't decide this. The people have to decide this state by state that put power back into the hands of people. But when they say, you know, we have to reform the Supreme Court, they're saying we have to put it back in the hands of, of the court. 
we have to make it make it more of an oligarchy, and that's mm-hmm. uh, you know that ain't the right way to go, if you ask me. Yeah, and and every time we see this, the rioting, uh, the uh, let's add some numbers to the Supreme Court. It's all about their reaction about not getting their way. Well, we didn't get our way for fifty years in mm-hmm. any way whatsoever. And our reaction was to pr- uh, peacefully protest. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and yet we're the terrorists. Yeah, we're the activists. I know. And, you know, remember, I remember, you know, every year going down to D.C. And, and doing the March for Life. And for some reason that day was always the coldest, rainiest day of the mm-hmm. year. And uh, but but we did it and we were always essentially ignored by the media. And uh, I remember speaking to someone who who worked in the media at, at one of the bigger networks and they said, you know, it, the reason we don't cover it is it's not news because you guys do it every year. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I said, but shouldn't that show our commitment? Mm. And isn't that newsworthy? And he said, no, if it was more erratic and, and out of the ordinary, then. So it, if, if our inspiration to defend life was flagging, yeah. then it would be newsworthy. <laughs> These would be the yeah. same outlets that cover the the, the uh, annual release of the, uh, the the coffees that come out with pumpkin spice. <laughs> 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 Thanks, man.